Привет, привет, конечиба. My name is Tatiana Klimova and welcome to my channel. If you find this video interesting, please subscribe to it. There will be lots of new and interesting videos about language studies and language learning. Today I would like to share with you my big big secret, a big tip and life hack I use to learn new words. Uh, because you know I speak French, English, Russian and I'm learning uh, Japanese right now and sometimes it's really not easy to learn new words and uh, you know because I learn Japanese with a teacher I go to um, a group lessons and you know the difference that you feel when you have learned your words you've learned the vocabulary and you arrive there and you feel ready and you can have the conversation you can um, do the exercise together with the teacher and you feel satisfied but you know if you have to ask every time like oh I don't remember this word can you remind me please oh of course I remember but why didn't I manage to remember this word etc because you haven't learned the vocabulary because you really have to learn by heart uh, and then you feel frustrated and sometimes you have to cancel the class because you haven't learned the vocabulary you think she will ask me or he will ask me things and I will not remember and so that really makes a difference so you have to learn your vocabulary it's not always easy you have to force yourself and uh, actually what I discovered it's the flashcards the flashcards you can uh, create or you can download and you can use your phone for it uh, when you have a few minutes in the metro or in transports or whenever you have like five ten minutes you can use your phone with a free uh, app uh, to learn new words and today I'm going to explain how I learn my vocabulary with a flashcard app called Crumb. Let's get started! So for example let's say that we are learning Japanese and we are learning colors. Uh, I want to create a list uh, flashcards uh, and to be able to learn them when I'm in the metro or something like that. So I have uh, an Android but I think it works also with all kind of phones, iPhones, etc. I'm going to use flashcards, a flashcard app. Uh, I'm using an app called Crumb. Crumb. It's free uh, but there are so many of them. I mean you can use uh, whatever you want. Usually the principle is the same. What am I going to do with my Android? I'm going to go to the Play Store. Play Store. Store doesn't mean that you have to pay. You have lots of free apps there. Play Store. And I'm going to look for Crumb. 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 Up. That's the app. I already have it uh, downloaded and installed, but you will just uh, uh, click on download, it's free and you will have you on your phone here. So let's open it, I'm opening it and that's the app. So here you can create flashcards. For example, let's say that you are learning colors and you are going to create new flashcard title, Japanese. Japanese colors. colors here you can choose to make it public if you make it public other people can find it and download it and also use it and you can do the same actually so next front term front term I usually choose uh, English or French or Russian a language I already know so, for example, let's say, if we are learning colors, let's say white. Okay. And now I'm going to write it in Japanese. So, white is shiroi. Shiroi. In Japanese you have uh, several alphabets, several, several styles of writing. This is an easy one, everybody can read. Or you can choose to uh, learn the kanji. This is shiroi. Done. You have to have at least three 
flashcards to create a group of flashcards. So I'm going to say uh, black, black, oh sorry, I have so many alphabets on my phone, <laughs> uh, black, and in Japanese is kuroi, kuroi, kuroi. Actually, what I do when I learn Japanese, I write it like that in easier way, and then I do, I write the kanji, the more difficult one next to it, kuroi, like that. Okay, done. And the next one, uh, red, for example. Red. And in Japanese is akai. Akai. Okay, and then with the kanji means with the uh, difficult one. A -ka -i. Akai. Here you are. Okay, done. I've created my flashcards. So now, save. How does it work? And now you have your Japanese colors, my flashcards. And you can first memorize them. Memorize. So, see? Uh, the app will show me uh, the English word. And I will try to remember. Of course, the first time I can't remember, I will say, please show me. Aha, uh -huh. I will say shiroi. Mm -hmm. No, I don't remember this. Black, uh, kuroi, kuroi. Okay, check. Okay, that's correct. Red, mm, I will say, mm, I don't really remember. Ah, akai. Okay. And then it will repeat and repeat the words that you said you haven't memorized them. White, I will say shiroi. Okay, so here, for example, I have my flashcards and I also created some flashcards per month. For example, April, this April, I uh, wrote down all the uh, new words I had to learn. So let's say cram mode. Cram mode, um, it means it will force you to learn words until you really memorize them really well. For example, let's see if I remember my uh, April words. Wonderful! In Japanese is Subarashi. Subarashi, yes. Best friend, I think it's... I think it's... Yo, you, something like that. Ah no, it's Shin Yu. So, you see, you have to be honest and to say, no, I, I haven't remembered it. It wasn't called Sammukata desu. Ah, sammoku nakata desu. Incorrect. To look for um, sagashimasu. Yes. Etc. Etc. And it will it will repeat and repeat the words until you learn them well. You will have several levels, and it will insist on the words that you haven't uh, memorized that you said you haven't memorized. So, now let's see how we can combine combine things. Uh, for example, look, I created for you this list. You have words in Russian. Uh, let's say, for example, that you have Instagram. Do you have Instagram? I have Instagram. I really like Instagram. I think it's really nice and positive. By the way, please join my Instagram account. I have lots of uh, funny posts about my traveling and also some language books and not only language books, some language tips and things like that. But let's say for example Russian phrases here, okay? It's somebody who offers a word per day. Not every day, but lots of words. Like that. For example, let's say Vozduch, air, Vozduch. That was published, well, in September, it's not very <laughs> up to date, but there are other ones. This is just an example. So let's say Vozduch. You found this new word, Vozduch. Let's add it to your cram list. Okay, you 
have a set of words, Russian words, you create each time you see a new word. Op, air in English, and then in Russian, воздух. Done. So it's good because you saw this word and you immediately uh, entered it in your cram. You haven't lost it. So now, when you have some free time, cram mode. Firewood, firewood, drava. Makeup, makiyash. Egg, yitzo. Air. Mm, let's say that you don't know. Uh, I don't remember. Up. Then it will uh, ask you this word again. Air. Now you remember. Воздух. Yes. Now it will ask you to repeat it again. Firewood. Drava. Makeup. Макияж. Egg. Яйцо. Air. Oh, you forgot again. Let's say, up, air, воздух, air. You see, if you forgot the word, it will ask again and again, воздух, and so on and so on. So it will really f force you to learn it. What you can also do, which I find great, you can search for other people's flashcards. For example, if you're learning Japanese, uh, we will say, I want some Japanese verbs. Japanese verbs. Okay. And now you will have all those flashcard lists people have created and shared with you. So you can have a look. Okay. Oh, here it's in Romaji. I don't want it. I want it in Japanese, for example. So, for example, let's have a look at this one. Oh yeah, great, that I understand. So, I will call it my favorite. I will go to my favorite sets and find it. Here it is, so I can use it. If you've just created a list, for example, I've just created my colors, I can send them to somebody, you see? You can use your Gmail, your just SMS messages, Messenger, Bluetooth, you can convert it in PDF, uh, you can send an email, it's really great. You can do whatever you want with it. So, that's Chrome. I mean, again, there are lots of different apps. I don't want to advertise Chrome. I just find it very practical and helps me a lot. Uh, but there are other programs and other fl flashcard apps. And you can even create like paper flashcards. Write it down and on one side uh, the word in foreign language on the other side a word in uh, your language and do it that way hey everybody I hope that it was useful I really recommend using apps and using the method I use uh, it's really improved my uh, results my learning and I noticed that in the beginning it's difficult like the first couple of times you really have to force yourself and you say oh no it's too difficult I can't do it I can't do it because, for example, Japanese, I'm learning, it's so different from all the other languages I know. I can't really find any similarities in other languages. But those flashcards, they really help. If you like my channel, please subscribe. If you are learning Russian, please join my Russian Dacha Club. You will find lots of interesting videos there. Uh, also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, check my website and see you soon for new wonderful, interesting language videos. Ciao, пока-пока!